Hey folks, Country Prepper here. Well, I have quite a few things to get through, so this might be a little bit of a lengthy video, but please stick with me. I got a lot of things to cover, um, kind of an update on my health, kind of a channel update. Future CP Kydex also have uh, raffle winners to announce, and I'm going to do a little bit of a giveaway, and... Uh, Maybe throw a few other things in while I'm at it. So uh, one of the things i got to say is uh, I've had a lot of people um, leaving me comments and stuff about, uh, you know, feel look like I'm getting better and stuff like that. But I'm still kind of having a few problems uh, here a couple weeks ago. The day after I shot the last video on that little survival kit, I woke up and couldn't hardly use my hand. I still can't type very well. Uh, I definitely can't grip anything. I don't know what happened. I just woke up and felt like I broke something in it. I uh, went to see the doctor, and at first he thought I had carpal tunnel. They always go to that first. Here, let's hack you up, that sort of thing. Kind of had enough of Western medicine for a while. <laughs> they, uh, they just keep wanting to pump you full of pills and cut you open, do surgery on you, and I just... Uh, no, I've had enough. So i kind of been trying a lot more natural remedies, herbal remedies, um, you know, just uh, trying to do it through diet and supplementation and essential oils, things like that. So, And I'm actually feeling quite a bit better since I got off all the crap that they were giving me. Um, a lot of it just seems like it's just poison. There's more, um, more side effects than it's worth... Than, than the initial thing that you're get, supposed to get out of it. So uh, one of the things I was on was an anti-inflammatory uh, for arthritis, and they wanted started giving me really, really bad heartburn like I've never had before in my life. And uh, ended up getting uh, just all kinds of different side effects from it. But uh, uh, So they wanted to put me on an antacid. So not only am I taking that, but then I'm taking an antacid, and then... You know, that's going to cause some other problems because if you reduce the acid in your stomach, then you're not digesting things. I already got digestive problems and no, I'm done. So I'll just uh, try to do it things the natural way, things the way, you know, way Mother Earth intended. So uh, so that's kind of the gist of my health right now. Um, I've been out on a lot of hikes and that's something I plan on doing in the future. Um, a friend of mine got a... Uh, Recently acquired a new piece of land, about 10 acres of mostly pine trees. So I'll have no shortage of fatwood anymore. But um, uh, we're planning on going out and doing some more like bushcraft type stuff. Uh, I do have a bunch of new gear and I'm going to do a video on my new uh, bushcraft kit. A new backpack and saw and uh, even a new knife. And just all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, that's some of the things that... Uh, I'm looking forward to doing, and uh, one of the things, while I was down and out, I gained a lot of weight, and I need to get it off. It, uh, I, it's been miserable. I can't stand being this big. So, um, yeah, I need to get out, and, uh, you know, with my diet, I've already lost, uh, I think, about 12 pounds. So, it kind of depends on the inflammation, makes your body retain fluid and so water weight kind of depends on how much you sweated that day how much you peed that day so uh <laughs> um so that's just kind of just kind of an update on me and my health and that kind of thing and, and uh, how that kind of stuff is going that also is uh part of my plans for the future of cp kydex which i'll address later so another thing that i have to address is um i have my uh, address in the description box. So my PO box is in the description box of, the, of all my videos. So uh, every now and then I get a gift and I want to send a big thank you out to Kaylin who sent me this. And I just happened to get a, uh, a brand new Ruger 1022 takedown uh, backpackers model, the Magpul edition backpackers model. And um, I took it out with me for that camp out and just had a regular gun sock on it. But this looks like it'll work really great for that new rifle. So, Kalen, thank you very much. Um, I have had, I lost the package that you sent it in. So please send me a message here on YouTube with your address. I want to send you something back. So uh, usually if somebody sends me something, I, I tend to send them something back just because uh, just that's just kind of who I am. But uh, anyway, uh, if... I suppose I kind of want to start doing a like a weekly video, but because I'm kind of down and out every now and then, um, 
it's probably going to going to be maybe one of those weekly videos that I want to do will be like a, I don't know, random thought Thursday was kind of what I had on my mind. And instead of doing, you know, I have a lot of interests other than just prepping. And so, uh, and of course, bushcraft, survival, all that kind of stuff. But um, it's, a lot of it goes hand in hand. But I have a lot of interests other than that. So I just thought about doing just a random thoughts type of video once a week or, I don't know, maybe once every couple of weeks, something like that. And uh, just just to have some extra content and just to give me another reason to interact with you guys. Because honestly, the only reason I'm still making videos is for you guys. There's no money in it anymore. It's not worth the time you put into it. That's for damn sure. Um, you could you could put in a full full time job's worth of hours and make half of minimum wage, less than half of minimum wage. And so it's just not worth it other than the community, the interaction and the friends that you gain from uh, doing this kind of thing. So that's why I'm still here. Uh, it's the only reason I'm still here. So uh, another thing I need to address is uh, I had a raffle going in August and September right before I went down for the count. And so I need to finally announce those winners. I tried to do a video on it a while back um, and announce the winners, but, uh, and I did it, you know, kind of, not really live, but, you know, just pick, picked them right on screen, and, uh, but my old phone, my Galaxy S7, took crap on me. It's hardware failures. You see the, the pink line. Can't hardly hold on to anything. The pink line in the screen. Hardware failures left and right on it. So, I didn't think it was fair to pick new winners since I had already done it on video. Um, you know, it just doesn't seem fair to me. So what I did was I just wrote down the names and uh, there was, anyhow, with, with the camera, there was no audio. <laughs> so I just wrote down the winners. I couldn't actually, you know, I couldn't put up a video with no audio. It'd be dumb. So uh, what I did was wrote down the winners and I'll just announce those here now. The winner of the Mayflower which was this one. Made a neck knife sheath for it. I love this little knife, but I don't need it, so that's why I decided to give it away. It's essentially brand new. I made a couple of sheaths with it. That's about it. So, very cool knife that will come with the original sheath. And the winner of that one is... Let me cover up the other winner. Greg Taylor. My handwriting is horrible, guys. So, Greg Taylor, congratulations you really want you want a really great neck knife i really really like that neck knife so or i use it i would have used it as a neck knife i carried it a couple of days just to test it out i was going to do a video but now they have a new one now with 440c stainless that one's 420 hc stainless so uh, i think i might get that one but i got a new neck knife from crawdaddy forge which i'll be doing a video on so i don't know i don't really need it but you know me well i love knives <laughs> so uh Next up, uh, here's the stock sheath for the Micarta Bush Lore. Very cool knife. Always liked this one, but again, I have I already have you know a couple other really nice bushcraft knives that are handmade, so this one's given away. I gotta polish that up a little bit. It's got all the uh, um, frog lube and stuff like that, and and uh, I need to uh, sharpen it up just a little bit. But let's see if I can get this done. Nice click on that one. This is ambidextrous in case you're left-handed. Has a nice ferro rod on there. Very cool knife. Very cool sheath. Nice thumb push. Weep hole. Nice edges. All that good stuff. And the winner of that one is Michael Owens. The future of CP Kydex. CP Kydex as a business is over, guys. I'm sorry. Um, it's just basically... Um, I never know when something's going to go wrong with my health. Uh, with all the problems that I've had over the last year, uh, I can't... It put too much stress on me. And not not nobody's fault. It's just, uh, just the circumstances. It is what it is. I'd bust my ass just as hard as I possibly could working sometimes up to 16 hours a day to try and get as many sheaths out as I can, try to get ahead 
in case something did go wrong. But then when something did go wrong, I'd be down for a week, sometimes two. And that would set me back. And then trying to play catch up, I'd work just as hard again. It's one of those things where I didn't want to overcharge people, but I wasn't making enough to justify the amount of work I was doing. However, I am not done making sheaths. I'm not going to let my talent go to waste. And all the work that I've put in to improve what I do, I'm not going to let it go to waste. I'm not just going to completely quit making sheaths. What I am going to do is I might do a raffle every now and then uh, or something like that, or maybe just do a giveaway. Um, if a friend of mine has a channel and they're doing a giveaway, I might make a sheath for them. Uh, I'll make them for gifts, uh, things like that, but I'm not going to take orders for sheaths um, just simply because I, I, I hate to say it, but I'm not reliable enough. My body is not reliable enough. My mind still wants to do it. My body will not allow it. It got to be, it got to be too stressful. And I really honestly think that contributed to the downfall of my health for quite some time. Um, and working that many hours, you get to where you're pumping so much caffeine into your body to try to keep going and, you know, other stuff, vitamin B and, you know, all that kind of stuff to try and amp yourself up so you can keep working and you just wear your body down so bad, so fast that when you go down, you go down hard. And I did. So that's, that's basically the end of it. The Facebook page is gone. The YouTube channel, I took all the videos off of it. CP Kydex as a business is no more. Last but not least, I have a giveaway to do, and I have a lot more stuff. It's going to be in multiple videos, but this is just the start of it. These are a couple things that friends sent me, uh, guys that have other channels. So uh, BJ from over at Bearded CB82 at the Spring, spring, can't talk, spring Camp Out uh, brought this along. And so um, what I think I'm going to do, I'm rebuilding the website, but I think I'll have this up by the time this video goes up, or I'll have this this thing up on the website by the time this video goes up. I'll make sure of it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a special link in the description box. So go click on that and it'll take you to a page on my website and you'll have to put in a keyword for which thing you want to enter for the giveaway. So first one is this wall mount bottle opener from made by Snap-on or offered by Snap-on, Snap-on brand. And uh, so anyhow, that was uh, BJ over at Bearded CB82. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box. And so the keyword for that is snap on. And so, so if you want to win that, use that keyword. You can enter both of these, not just one or the other. And I will announce the winners probably in a week. Kind of depends on my schedule uh, of, uh, you know, what I got going on, what my wife has going on. For somebody who isn't working, I am extremely busy. It's insane. So anyhow, the next thing is a big one here, guys. This came from my friend John over at Live for Wild. He is just a really, really awesome guy. Very generous. I, I just cannot say how generous he is. Just, But just a really awesome guy. And I have a gift I'm going to be sending back to him. But... Um, here in a little bit, and I got one other friend I'm gonna, I got a gift coming for, but so it comes in this big field line bag, kind of a uh, shoulder strap bag or something like that. It's multiple use type of bag. So I've got a ton of stuff here, and I'll just go through it real quick. Uh, a couple things from Zombie Tinder, the survival candle, and their little uh, tender thingies kind of look like eyeballs inside of there so that's that's the first little thing there's a lot of stuff in here guys i should take this over to the bench but i'm already set up and already started so we'll just keep going for it pocket bellow now this will come in handy for a couple other things that are in this kit but these things are really handy i have the smaller version of this and i love it uh the other thing survival snare now, you guys all know about that brass snare wire that I think is a crock of shit that comes in all the survival kits. It's useless as a snare. This is not. This is an actual cable snare. So, that is, if you're building a bug out bag or an inch bag, that's what you need. Cable snares, not wire. Wire breaks. 
And if you've ever been trapping before, or even just go watch some videos on trapping, and you will see that when an animal gets caught in a trap, they flip and turn and twist. They will do anything they can to try to get out of that thing. So a piece of wire is not going to do it. It's just a little word of advice for your building your survival kits. Uh, snare wire is useless except for making a bale on your cup to hang over a fire. So there's a few other uses, but I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Uh, this, this is going to be hard for me to open one-handed, but... Very cool. I actually wanted I wanted to keep a lot of this stuff, but it was he sent it for the giveaway, so I'm giving it away. There's a couple things that I'm not sending, which is a big tarp, and um, what else was there? There was one other thing in there. I think it was a dump pouch, but it wouldn't fit in here. I wanted to keep it all contained in this pack. So, Pedley Stick, it's called, and this is Micro Handline Fishing System. That's cool. I wanted to try that out. I might actually just carve myself one because I want to go out and do a bunch of bushcrafty type stuff. <clears throat> What's more bushcrafty than carving out a fishing spindle? It's for hand fishing. So, or at least I think so. <laughs> but um, let's see. So there's a couple of boards here. I assume they go with... I got a lot of stuff here, so I'll, I'll just go ahead and show it. Natural cordage kit. A lot of this stuff came from the Apaka box. So uh, if you want to see some videos about the Apaka box and all this cool stuff that comes with it, if you're into primitive skills, um, that's a great one to get. But go watch John over at Live for a Wild because he gets the Apaka box and uh, he does videos on them all the time. Uh, let's see. He threw this one in there. That's the Wallet Ninja. Little survival card tool thingy that you can put in your wallet. This is, this is one of the things that I wanted to keep. But I can I can teach myself how to do it myself out of uh, you know regular sticks. Paiute deadfall trap kit, and I've I've done it a few times. I'm just not real proficient at it. But that's one thing that I want to get out and do uh, in some upcoming videos and uh, learn some new skills or practice some skills. Mini bow saw. I mentioned that one, so that's really cool. You can't really see anything because the instructions are on the back. <clears throat> A good folding saw. That's the Creek Stewart folding saw. There's got to be a way to lock that in, but I don't have it locked in right at the moment. A couple of, that's a keychain lanyard and a paracord uh, bracelet. Got a bunch of little pamphlets in here. Animal tracking, uh, wilderness survival, animal tracks, uh, how to live under a tarp. Creek Stewart, uh, notes from the back 14, whatever that is. I did not read that one. I should have. What's this? That's what the other thing, the, those boards are for. This is, uh, like a bow drill. What's it called? Friction fire chucks for hand and bow drill. So I assume those two boards are part of that, but I'm not sure you'll have to read through the instructions when you get that. Then this, I really love this. I still wear the one that I got, I don't know, over a year ago. I've been. I haven't taken it off since. I've uh, I've used it a couple more times, but uh, that's that um, bushcraft necklace fire starter thingy. And I've been, like I said, I've been wearing mine ever since I did the video on it, and it's holding up great. So let's see. I gotta get these out of my hand. My hand's cramping up already. And then I did read these, so I hope you guys don't mind. But uh, bug out survival skills. These are all books from Creek Stewart here. Build the perfect bug out bag. And build the perfect bug out vehicle. I actually, I liked this one the best, but they were all three really cool books. What should we do for a keyword on this? Let's go with field line. Field line kit, just field line or field line kit, whichever, for the uh, keyword to win that. So, like I said, oops, forgot to put those back in there. I'll get them back in there and uh, after the video. I've already wasted enough of you guys' time. This video is very long, I told you it would be. But I hope you stuck around and uh, so you could get in on these giveaways. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on my new bushcraft kit here soon. And then we're going to go out for a little hike. And uh, I've got a ton of new gear, new saw, new knife, new backpack, um, 
great big new tarp just a ton of cool stuff so uh I'm going to also do a video on how I afforded to buy all that stuff when I'm not working. So um, it's very, uh, very lucrative. I'll tell you that, guys. So I think I'll end it now. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.